ever wondered how to make your videos stand out with those impressive rolling end credits? Today, we're unlocking the mysteries of CapCut PC app. Get ready to unravel the secrets behind captivating rolling text, mesmerizing keyframes tricks, and the art of seamlessly adding logos or stickers. Trust me, by the end of this tutorial, you'll be wondering how you ever edited without these game-changing techniques. Our seasoned pro David will take you step-by-step -step on this lecture, so sit back, relax. Stick around and let's dive into the magic of turning ordinary text into extraordinary rolling end credits in CapCut PC app. Yes, welcome back again, David here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make rolling end credits in CapCut PC. You're going to be learning two things, how to make the credits. And if you notice in your film, your movies, yeah, sometimes you have logos to them. I'm going to show you how to also add logos to them so that the logo moves along with the rolling end credits. I don't want to waste your time. I want this to be super short because I know you guys have other things to do. So I'm going to get straight right to it. So to start with, we're going to bring in our text. And I'm just going to hit on the text and bring in the default text. So this is it. Let's bring it in by clicking on the plus sign. Now that we have it, remember to make it slow, we need to increase this, but I'll show you how to do that later on. Let's just create first. So we're going to bring in what we want this text to say. Yeah, I already have something for my subscribers. I want to appreciate you guys. Yes, I know as I'm making this video, I had about 15 subscribers, but trust me, I only saw four of you. So if you know you are subscribed to the channel, let me know in the comment and I will definitely give you credit because you guys are amazing you guys are amazing so let's do this i'm going to highlight this and ctrl v to paste okay as you can see i have it there and it's looking too big so i'm going to reduce it by reducing the font you can see here all right so we just reduce that a bit so we have it now and we can work with this this is the one we want to work with as you can see, this is the first stage where I'm going to show you text only way of doing it. Then the second stage, I'm going to show you how to add stickers to it. And then the third stage, I'm going to make it either slower or faster. So I want you to stick around and watch to the very end. So let's do this. Now that we have this text here, we are going to add keyframe to the beginning and to the end. Okay. So to do that, let's scroll down to where we see keyframe. And then we're just going to add a position keyframe. All right. So you see where it says position. Okay. You want to click on this add keyframe. So we're going to add a keyframe as if we have seen. We have a keyframe at the beginning now. Let me turn that off again so that you just see it for yourself. As you can see, no keyframe here. But when I click back on the position keyframe, we have that here. So now we're just going to drag this down like so all right so now we have it there that's the first keyframe and then we can move this cursor to the end like that and then we move this right on that keyframe position and keyframe and we move this to the top this time around just like that okay so now if we go over and play it all this is what it's gonna look like see dot complicated super simple is that easy to make so now to make it fun we're gonna go back to the beginning again right so this time i'm gonna add something interesting and that piece of it's going to be stickers. I'm going to be using stickers for this one. All right. I'm going to be using stickers for this one. So I'm going to bring in a love sticker, for example, to say thank you. All right. Just to say thank you. For instance, let's use this. So we'll just break that in. Let's wait for it. So, okay, we'll bring that in. Let's click on it. So now we have this. We're just going to reduce it. 
like that and then we're going to add a keyframe once more a positional keyframe we're going to add that there and we're just going to move it down again to just the beginning here and then we move it to the end obviously we want it to follow it out right so we are just going to do same thing add a position a keyframe on this and take it out of the frame right like that so if we play it let's see how it's gonna play okay so you see it but i wanted it to move totally out i don't want it showing up like so or moving in between so to best the best way to actually do it is to make it a combine a combine frame so i'm just going to get rid of this keyframe i'm just going to delete that keyframe i'm going to also delete the keyframe for this all right stay with me super short i just showed you one way and showed you the error you might face doing it this way so now i'm going to show you how to do it the right way okay i'm going to show you how to do it the right way by getting rid of the keyframes which we have okay delete we we'll delete that keyframe and we'll also delete the keyframe here delete so now what you want to do to make it fun let's assume we have this here okay let's click on this let's assume we have it somewhere here and we have this around here right so now you want to make them compound clip before you add your keyframe so we're just going to control and select control and tap and we're just going to right click and make them a compound clip okay so we're just going to make it a compound clip like that so now we have a compact compound clip we are just going to move back to the beginning again and then we are just going to add our position keyframe one as you can see it's added to the compound clip then we move this downwards okay like so and then we move our keyframe to add the last keyframe here and then we add one more keyframe like so okay and then we move it out move it out just ensure you make sure it's in the middle so that it does not go left or right okay so now we have those we can go back now and just play it and you see how it looks so you see it's super easy so now how do we make it a little slower it's very simple to make it a little slower all you need to do is to increase this on the timeline by dragging your cursor pressing down your left mouse click button and just dragging okay usually we should do this at the beginning you can do it in two ways you can do it with speed all right either you reduce the speed here if you can drag it from here you see i just increase the speed and if we go back to the beginning like so and play it it's slower as you can see it's slower so that's just in case because most compound clip you can't increase it like this all right you can't increase it so what you do is to go from video to speed and just reduce the speed the way you want it to be you can see we've increased it to more and if we go to the beginning again and play it this time this is what we get super slow but moves smoothly so you see it's not complicated at all to do the rolling credits in CapCut PC. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. David loves you. Have a nice day.